One fun thing about me, I'm an, uh, I'm an adult bedwetter. I wet the bed sometimes. Yeah, I know. Yeah, pretty cool, yeah. <laughs> we got a lot of dry bed motherfuckers here tonight. Got a bunch of big bladder dweebs in the crowd. Uh, <laughs> I got a few old relatives here. I know you leak. Uh, <laughs> And that's fine, it's fine. 15% of adults wet the bed in America. That's actually true. Another fact I learned, this is true, is that adult bedwetting is one of three physical characteristics shared by every single serial killer. <laughs> yeah. Thank God I'm not also white and skinny. <laughs> <laughs> If you laugh, you're safe. If you laugh, you're safe. Okay. <laughs> We're having fun. Uh, <laughs> if you don't laugh at that joke, it's actually disrespectful to my culture. Uh, <laughs> you know, white people like our first mass shooting. That's like our quinceanera. You know? <laughs> Okay, more, okay, good, good, good. That's my, that's good, that's a good joke, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool, cool, I like doing comedy, comedy's fun, it doesn't pay for the bills, though. so for my day job, I, got, I teach first graders, I help teach first graders. Yeah, how, <laughs> no, 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 the claps were too late to matter. Uh, <laughs> yeah, how you like to hear that, you dumb motherfucker? <laughs> that's why America ain't doing so good, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Because I don't give a fuck, you know? <laughs> they didn't hire me because I have a passion for teaching. They hired me because I was hanging around the playground, you know? <laughs> They're like, you want to teach these kids? I'm like, sure, I already know all their names. <laughs> <laughs> we get along great. We all wet the bed, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I shouldn't do this, but I want to do this. Okay, uh, I work in Chicago. You know, in Chicago, the teachers go on strike a lot, but I never strike with the teachers because I want to be alone with the kids, you know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, kids, the curriculum is now only Twister. <laughs> I'm glad I did that. That's funny as shit. Uh, <laughs> you do not like me. The table doesn't like me. It's very fine. Uh, I like working with kids. Working with kids really helps my self-esteem because whenever I'm in a room full of first graders, like I'm, I'm by far the most talented person in the room, right? <laughs> because I can usually open a Capri Sun. <laughs> They're like amazed by every little thing I can do. They're like, wow, Mr. Jeff, you can tie your shoes? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I dabble, you know? <laughs> when I'm not too busy counting to 100. <laughs> Worship me, mortals. <laughs> the kids, we play that game Hangman a lot. Remember that spelling game Hangman? That that, that game's a little fucked up, right? Like, what an American game, right, Hangman is? Like, only in America are we like, yeah, spelling's pretty cool, but what if it was violent? <laughs> I didn't realize how weird that game was until this little first grader pointed out to me. She's like, Mr. Jeff, why are we uh, hanging this man? <laughs> I was like, because he's like you, Lucy, he couldn't fucking spell. <laughs> Hangman's so fun. I think it's such a fun game. If you don't remember the best part about Hangman is that everyone has like their own like unique rule for when the guy's officially dead, right? <laughs> you know, like some people are like, oh, he's not dead till you draw a hat on it. <laughs> you know? It's the weight that gets him. You know? <laughs> That's a fun laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Great, great. What do we want to do? Oh, yeah, this joke's so good. Uh, <laughs> okay. Do you guys think people get offended too easily these days? Yeah. Okay, keep that in mind during this next one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You guys, Hitler's kind of a kook, right? Bit of a weirdo. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm a big history guy. I love history. I learned this the other day. You know what? They've made over 950 Hollywood films about Adolf Hitler. 
950 movies by Adolf Hitler. I bet Hitler's pissed about how much money he made the Jews, right? <laughs> <laughs> Like, that backfired, dude. <laughs> You're kind of a job creator, buddy. <laughs> okay, we're having fun. We're having fun. Uh, I've been, uh, I've been uh, working out lately. Ha, <laughs> ha, yes. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. The silence is the best reaction. Uh, <laughs> but and if you work out, you know that the gyms, they always ask you, like, what your fitness goal is. And I told my gym that my fitness goal is that uh, in like six to eight months, my goal is I want to be so strong that I can convincingly have choke sex. You know, like, <laughs> I don't know if choke sex has made it to Minnesota or not. Uh, if you don't know choke sex, that's where during sex you choke your part, you talk about it beforehand. <laughs> It's not like a close your eyes, I've got a surprise. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Stop talking about your day. <laughs> My ex-girlfriend loved choke sex, but the first time we did it, we didn't talk about it beforehand. She just like brought it up in the middle of normal sex. She was just like, choke me, choke me. And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I already have a speeding ticket. <laughs> Is this gonna hurt my credit? <laughs> I wasn't ready for it, I did, and she was like, I've been choked better by seasonal allergies, you know. <laughs> I've been choked up more by the first 20 minutes of Pixar's up, you know. <laughs> I've been choked better by my real daddy, you know. <laughs> oh, it's a joke, she never met her dad. Uh... <laughs> Such a well-written joke, thank you, yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> it, was a, it was a memorable experience, really, for many reasons, but the main reason is because that, like halfway through, she took my hands off her neck and put her own hands around her neck to like, to like demonstrate what she wanted me to do. So it looked like I was doing such a bad job at sex that she just lost the will to live. <laughs> She was just like, Lord, take me to the good dick. <laughs> and I was like, when you're done, can we talk about my day? <laughs> I want to tell you about a cool parallel park I had. <laughs> she also, she always wanted me to spank her during sex. That was a big thing. And I was always like, eh, nah, I only hit kids. <laughs> I want to make you laugh so bad. Uh, <laughs> my mom is uh, my mom's doing the DNA thing, the Ancestry.com, 23andMe. Has anyone done that here? You did that? You did that? You find anything crazy about your family history? Great. Good for the album. Uh, <laughs> just make something up, damn it. <laughs> Someone said something that you found something crazy? What would you find out? What would you find out? Grandfather wasn't, they can do that? They can find that out? I thought it's just like, you're Irish or you're Swedish. They can be like, you're not the father. <laughs> it's like an interactive Maury thing. <laughs> Was your grandfather still alive? No. Oh, so you couldn't like confront him, be like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> what if he died of the shock? <laughs> Well, that's too much. I shouldn't have said that. Uh, <laughs> good, good story. Bad story. Be better next time. <laughs> no, that's fine. I always ask people, I think the funniest thing I ever heard a white lady in Cleveland, she said that they found out that their family was 0.03% black. That's like, that's not high enough to matter, right? Like, that's like, come on your great grandma's inner thigh black. <laughs> <laughs> She scraped it off, put it in a jar, and called it her one black friend. <laughs> so I was like, I can say that word. I have a million black friends. <laughs> very funny, very funny. <laughs> or like someone said they were 5% Jewish. I'm like, that's not even a Jewish interest rate, right? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> We're having fun, we're having fun. Uh, 
<laughs> I think Ancestry.com is so funny. I saw a TV ad like a year ago. It's my favorite TV ad ever. It opens up on this woman, and she's like, I was a proud 100% Mexican woman until Ancestry.com showed me that I'm actually half German. So now for my ethnicity, I check other. How is that a happy story? Right? <laughs> She's like, yeah, I had to change my name from Margarita to Helga. You know? <laughs> we canceled my daughter's quinceanera. <laughs> you know? Tried to organize a mass shooting instead. <laughs> I still eat chimichangas, but an hour later, Helga's hungry for power. <laughs> <laughs> I think a better ad campaign for them would be like, Ancestry.com, do you have a friend named Tommy Portelli who constantly brags about being 100% pure-blooded Italian? <laughs> well, for $59.99, you can take Tommy down a peg. <laughs> <laughs> Find out his Italian grandmother preferred Swedish meatballs. <laughs> Like, oh yeah, that's a spicy meatball. <laughs> I changed that name. A few people from high school are here at Tommy Paul. We went to we went to we went to high school with that kid. He was a fucking dick. Uh, <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. We're having fun. I'm German. My family's German. Anyone German here? That's the that's the correct amount of pride. That was good. <laughs> You've all read history. That's fun. <laughs> Some people yell and you're like, no, nah, that's not German pride. That's white power, dude. <laughs> there's like a, there's like a level where it goes too far, you know. <laughs> I don't really care about being German, but my mom's always been really into being German. I remember like when I was like six or seven years old, she sent my sister and me to a German camp. A new twist on an old classic. <laughs> Except this camp's only concentration was having fun. <laughs> I swear to God, we're having fun, right? <laughs> I'll do a happy joke. I want a happy joke. Okay, here it is. You guys like cats or dogs? Where are we at on this cats or dogs debate? Uh, Dogs, most people are dogs. Dogs is pretty common. I think dogs emotionally are better than cats, but if you think about it factually, cats always, 100%, always better than dogs. I think you'll agree because... Oh. Wait for the joke, please. Uh, <laughs> if you care this much about dogs or cats, you gotta find something to replace that in your personality. <laughs> it, it does not matter, I swear to you. It does not matter. <laughs> Cats are better than dogs. Uh, I do think I think you'll agree. Actually, cats are better than dogs because cats never collaborate with the police, right? Like, like dogs are just fucking government snitches, right? You never see any drug sniffing cats, right? You ask a cat to find some drugs, the cat's like, Psh, I've never heard of drugs. 